Hello, hello. Right. 1st of September 2024. Now we start getting serious, probably for the first time in hand on heart, about four years. So what are we doing? We're going to see how strong this 47 year old body can get. So there's no more sets of 10. There's no more half arse. Every single workout now is going to be how heavy can I go? Now, just to be on the safe side, I have got some new pre-workout on the way because I'm going to need some caffeine. Actually, no, it's a non-stim, so that's an absolute lie. I'm just going to need everything else that a pre-workout gives you. But as what is that? Oh yes, I've got the glucosamine in as well because my joints are going to take an absolute battery. This 47 year old is just about to go all in. So that begins today. So what are we doing today? Well, what I did first of all was I worked out what I wanted to do. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Right, so here are my five main lifts, which I'm gonna work on and try to get max out of. And every time I get better on a max, I'm gonna put the date there as well. What I don't wanna do is I don't want those dates to slip, if you know what I mean. So I don't wanna be looking at flipping an athletics world record that stays in place for about four or five years. <laughs> I wanna be progressing as quick as possible. Just to give you an idea of what my best are. These are all time, my best flat bench of all time is 155 kg my best deadlift 200 military press probably on around 80 85 lat pull down i've come close to stacking it so we're gonna have to add some weight to that and then ez curls i have done relatively strict but i'm going to be using that arm blaster just underneath this blackboard just to make sure i keep strict curls we're going to see how heavy we can get i'd love to be able to do a couple of really decent curls close to my body weight, which is on around 80, 85 kilos at the moment. So it's going to be max, it's going to be weight. They're going to be my fave lift, five fave lifts that I'm going to be kind of tracking alongside you guys. But to be honest with you, other than that, I'm still going to be doing loads of other exercises around. So I love my cables, whoop, just there. Also love my incline benching and everything else that comes along with it. But these are going to be the five main ones I'm going to track for strength. Happy days. Right, so as I said, pre-workout on its way, so I've got no pre-workout at the moment, which is horrible but we're going to see where I'm at at bench this morning on this Sunday morning so all I've got is some BCAAs, a bench and a home run. so let's see what we can get to so we're just going to warm up on 60kg suspected that was a walk in the park but as I said that's only a warm-up set that is not a working set so now we're going up to 100 kg let's see where we're at on that we're going to move on to 100 kilos now just to give you a little bit of an insight I do as you can see the bar shaking do some light moderate for that pull down just in between my bench sets really because I really like and always have done enjoy training with a little bit of a back pump because I think it gives me stability in my lift. Let's start chatting. We've got 100 kilos on 2020, certainly we've got 20 kilogram bar. Let's go. I'm not going to do too many on that 100 kilogram weight because let's be honest I've got that and now we're talking strength we're not talking flipping hypertrophy and everything else so that was a good probably about six seven sets reps as you saw so now we're going to take it up to 110 so I'm going to chuck two techno fives on each side and I'll see you back in a second and yes that'll be after quick nifty that pull down. Okay, so we've now got 110 kilos on the bar. Just done a quick set on back. So you've got 20, 40, 5, 45 plus the bar. It's 90 plates, 20 kilogram bar, 110. So a few of you might be thinking, 
you're probably not, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Why are you going strength? So why have I picked those five exercises you saw at the beginning of the video? Why am I looking at strength? Because to be honest with you, for the first time in a very long time, I am absolutely bored and have zero motivation because I'm not goal setting. I don't have anything to aim for. I've been maintaining for years now. And a few of you have said, actually, funny enough, when I've come back on TikTok the last couple of months, you look the same as you did in COVID. If you're 47 years old like me, then you're happy with those comments, believe me. I'm not a 21-year-old that just started in the gym. I've been training for a long time. So if I can maintain what is half decent strength and physique for a 47-year-old, I'm happy. But I'm not really that happy at the moment. So I want to step up. I want to get back to benching. I've been benching over 130 kilos for ages. I've been going heavy for ages. And actually, funny enough, I've been picking up more injuries by not doing it. And I think that's because my body's used to being under that kind of maximum effort, heavy weights. And where I'm not, it's getting lax, it's getting weaker, and I'm picking up more injuries. But that's not the reason. I'm going strength because I want to see how strong I can get at 47 years old. So, 110 kilos starts today. See, 110 kilos used to be my party weight. Now, struggling five reps. Weak ass, but can I get it back? Hell yes, I'm gonna do it in weeks, not months. Right, we're going up to 120 kilos. Let's own this today. Okay, people, so we're up to 120 kilos now. 20, 40, 50, both ends, 100. And a trusty 20 kilogram seven foot bar. 120. Now for you eagle eyes, I suppose you probably wouldn't be able to see it because usually that's my camera angle. Can you see a little chalk mark in there? The reason why I've had to do that quick story, and this will hopefully be a lesson to some of you, when you look to buy a bench, if you're buying it second hand and you've seen the pictures and you go, inspect it first of all. I bought this bench, got rid of a quality bench that I used to love, literally like a brother to me. <laughs> my white <laughs> hard castle bench which saw me hit my PR. I got this because it had leg extension low curl. Now if you have a look at this, let me take you down to this angle. Can you see, that's flat. Then can you see how the bum seat rides up? Now there's no way you can adjust that, which is freaking annoying. So I literally have to have my head right at the back or right at the top of that bench. So my ass sits in between the seat and back pad, just so I've got a flat back can properly bench. It's a pain in the ass. It means that I'm probably gonna to have to end up looking for a flat bench with this attachment again, because I love leg curl, leg extension, and get rid of this bench. Or just put up with it. We'll see what happens. But yeah, word to the wise, always check. And I bought it, just thought bloody hell, it's good. Bought it for an absolute song. I think it was about 25 quid, which is ridiculous, because Marcy are a decent bench. But for me, it's a little bit too soft padding. Need something more hard on the back, make it a more stable lift. I'm going to stop moaning. Let's crack on. 120 kilos. Let's do this. And I've got the chalk mark there, so I know where I need to be. It's my bum between these two seats underneath the bar. Now to the untrained eye, or the trained eye, or for those people with eyes. 
that might have looked too a little bit tough. It was, <laughs> but all I concentrated on there was five decent repetitions, decent time on there. I wasn't chucking my body weight, as you'll see, I never use leg drive. This is all about delts, chest, and tries on the way up. They were decent five repetitions, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go 130, no five kilogram step ups here, and we've got time. So I'm just gonna hit quick lap pull down. It's only around my body weight, so it's all right. It just keeps my back nice and stiff, nice and pumped to help me out on bench. But so far, so good, I'm happy with this. 130, don't think I've got 140. Let's see how 130 goes up. See you back in a sec. People, literally just smashed out a lap pull down, emptied a dishwasher. You're like, what the hell? You're training Barry. Literally just ran across there, remembered I had the dishwasher on. OCD, needs to get rid of it. So quickly emptied that, took a minute. That was my cool down in between sets. Now we're hitting 130. Right, drop me down a little bit just so you can see a little bit more. There we go. So we got 20, 40, 50, 55. One ten in plates, twenty kilo in bar. Let's lift. Oh, that feels heavy. Believe it or not, as I always say, to the untrained eye, or the trained eye, to those with eyes, that might look difficult. Or two repetitions, actually no, three repetitions. Do myself out of a repetition now, I can't count to three. It was. <laughs> Still got a trickle out of that, I'm happy with that. Right, I think I'm gonna add up a little bit, because this now is strength. Usually, I'd probably drop down to 120, but, Let's see if we can get 135 out today, shall we? And stick two and a half kilos on each side. Let's go. Okay, right, so let's see where we're at. 135, that's 20 kilograms underneath my PB. Man alive, how the mighty fall when they get lazy and literally procrastinate and piss around on 100 and 110 kilos for too long. Too many years. Right, so we're up to 135 now today. Just done a quick that pull down, it's all good, that's why the guns are on fire. Turn the light on in here as well, just so we can wait for the sun to get around to the garage. Other than that, yeah, we've got 135 on here now. So that's 20, 40, 50, 55, two and a half kilo, so that's 57 and a half, which comes in at 115, plus 20 kilogram bar, 135. Been doing this for far too long. Right, I'm gonna put you over on another angle. Let's keep you in the garage this time, shall we? So I'll quickly duck and try not to hit my head on the actual pull-down machine. I'm gonna put you right near the lap pull-down machine and the dip bar. So hopefully that's all good. Actually, it's a little bit dark for you guys. But you know what's on the bar already, don't you? Actually, should I put you there? Yeah, let's put you there. I'll put you right in the action. Okay, so we know what's on the bar. No, it's doing you guys a disservice. Apologies for my crap editing. Let's put it right there. There we go. Now you can see the whites of the whites of the eyes. Right, so we got. I said one three five on the bar. Haven't done this weight for a long time, so let's just get this up. That'll tell me where I'm at. But we're going to be up on our benching. So you can see we're going to be up in our deadlift, up in fricking everything. No more 10 repetitions. This is strength, baby. September 24. 
one, three, five, going that way. Come on. Nothing but rep, nothing but rep. I've <sighs> got two in me, sorry. like to say I played around with that second rep. I'd like to say I tickled it. I'd like to say I showboated it. I'd like to say I made that look good for you guys on social media. But I can't, Jesus Christ. First wet rep, first rep went up all right. Second rep, a little bit of a battle. All I had to do, squeeze the bar harder. So you've got literally tension from wrist down to delt just push that bad boy up that was always going up always always going up one three five two repetitions i'll take that am i going to go for 140 probably not today i think i'd like to get a 140 out next set and what i might do is i might even drop out some of the weights that i've done to get there because today I've done quite a bit. We did 60 just to kick off. Did 100, 110, 120, 130, then 135. So I might skip, say for example, 110. Or I might not even start 100. I might just start 110. Just give me a little bit more in the tank to try that 140. Still reckon I've, off the back of those two reps on 135, I still think I've got 140. Always been able to do it for like the last... 20 years so still got it but yeah not going to test it today right so i'm going to finish off with one more set on lap pull down and what i might do is i might just drop down to 100 kilo just for some really really slow five reps and kind of pause rep through it just to kind of keep that tension and keep that weight slowly under the body as well but all good well, i'm just starting to talk crap now because i'm tired right like subscribe comment hope you enjoyed the video as i said september and future now is barry 47 years old it's nothing but strength people so follow me